and that is how the chicken came first rather than the egg. Ooh. Excuse me! Yes, Karen? That doesn't make any sense. Excuse me? Yeah, I said excuse me first, lady. <laughs> lady? Lady? <clears throat> it's Mr. Smith for you. I am your teacher. Show some respect. I want to talk to your supervisor right now. Karen, this is elementary school. You are in second grade. Supervisor here is called principal. And that's exactly where you're going, young girl. To the principal's office now. There are going to be consequences about this. I will talk to HR. Karen? Principal's office. I will get you fired. Come in. Yes, Karen. How can I help you? I want to talk to your supervisor. Here we go again. Excuse me. Good morning. Welcome to Very Mobile. How can I help you? Good morning. Good morning. What makes this morning good, please? Can you tell me one single thing that makes this morning good? I was in the car for over an hour just to get here, and my phone isn't working. And it's the latest and most expensive model on the market, actually, with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, four cameras, a wireless charger, Facebook, Twitter, and even Google Calendar. And when I finally found a parking spot in this city full of holes and junkies and racks in the street, I walked into this store and I found out that your store smells like shit. Quiet that baby. And um, so you want me to help you with your phone, ma'am? Thank you. Um, uh, look, ma'am, I was able to fix it. Um, it was just, it was on airplane mode. What? Airplane mode? Um, it happens to anybody, you know, uh, it happens to me. Well, I want a new phone. Man, I can't just give you a new phone because of that. It's just, Hi, you know, excuse me, I just have a quick question. Excuse you. You're a pretty loud lady, right? Um, I but, want to talk to your supervisor now. I didn't come to this country You to be go crawl like back this. under a rock. I have a place, okay? We were here first. Yes. I also we, deserve rights oh in this my country. Gosh. Okay? Uh, excuse me. Oh. oh my goodness. What are you doing? What's happening? Screw this job. Huh. And screw you too, lady. <laughs> Look at what you get. <laughs> Hey. 
What's going on? I quit my job today. Jacinta Ramos. Please don't call me like that. Pero por qué? I thought you liked that job. I know, honey, but this lady today was too much and things escalated quickly and then like... Wait a minute. You telling me that you quit your job because of one single lady? It's not just one single lady, okay? This is not just a typical lady. It's more complicated than that. She was very aggressive. Did she hit you? No. But you said she was aggressive. It's not the typical lady, okay? She gets into your head. And that haircut. Oh my God. Honey, I know customer service is a tough job. Especially after the pandemic, 2020, people became a little crazier. The other day, I heard people are pooping inside cat litter boxes because they think they're cats. Oh my God. Wait a minute, that's why your mom- uh, she... Wait, hey, no, let's not talk about my mom right now. Okay. But she doesn't have a cat, right? Anyway, what I'm trying to say with this is that I can't pay the bills by myself. And we both have one year of college left. And when I get a good job, I know we can focus on you becoming a full-time writer. And in the babies. And we can focus on making a family. Good. Thank you. What's going on? You remember the lady I talked to you about? What lady? The one with the weird haircut. Ah, that lady. Wait a minute, you sure that's the same lady? Of course I'm sure. I think she's following me. Honey, calm down. Calm down? I can't calm down. She keeps reappearing everywhere. You hear that? It's her, it's Honey, her! Relax, calm down. It's, I was just making some tea. Would you like some tea? Oh my god, you're here! You're here! I want to speak to your supervisor. No! No! <laughs> Jesus, Mary and Joseph, honey, calm down. It's just tea. I'm sorry, babe. I, I thought I saw something. Honey, you know I love you. And you're probably not going to like what I'm about to say. But you should see a specialist. So you don't believe? What are you talking about? Those are signs of PTSD. You should see a psychologist. So you don't believe me then? It's not that I don't believe you. I believe that what you're experiencing is true. It's just that other people can't see it. So you think I'm crazy. That is great. It's not that. What I'm saying is your mind is playing tricks on you. You went through a traumatic event and you don't know how to process that. 
a professional can help you process that so you can let those feelings go. So you really think it's a good idea? Honey, when your stomach gets sick, you go to... GI doctor. And when your vagina gets... Okay, I get it. So when your mind gets sick, you go to... Psychologist. Wait a minute, is that, are those my heels? You're gonna break them. I won't break it. And is that my skirt? Yeah, I lost mine. Um, you need to get your own. Whatever. You're gonna break them. Whatever. Okay. Don't break them. became a real boy. Wow. I never heard a story like that before. Everything makes sense now. Thank you, doctor. No problem. I'm just gonna need you to sign these forms and then you'll be good to go. Okay. Just sign here. No! <sighs> no! <gasps> Going somewhere, Miss Thang. Ma'am, the driver's license and registration, please. Okay. No! I am the supervisor. I am the supervisor. It's me. I am the supervisor. Honey. I, I am the supervisor. Honey, wake up. Oh my it's God, okay. honey. It's okay. You're safe. It's just a, oh. you're just having a bad dream. Thank you. Thank you for waking me up. I was having a terrible dream. I was at the psychologist. And, and everyone there was... They had the same weird haircut. They had her haircut. La misma cabrona everywhere. She was everywhere. And everyone was becoming her. They were becoming her. I know, honey. She was everywhere. Are you okay? No! Not you! No! 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 Not you! Not you! Not you! Not you! Honey, not you. Wake not up. you. It's okay. Oh, oh my God, baby, I had a bad dream. Yeah, it's okay. Oh. It's okay, baby. You're here. Let me see your hair. My hair. You had her hair in my dream. Weird. Describe this hair that was in your dream. It's short to the side like a bob no honey that doesn't sound like a wig i own i got the tina turner wig recently but not the one you're describing i'm just glad it was just a bad dream okay baby you need to stop all this bullshit you need to stop running from your fears you need to grab the bull by the horns or actually, buy the balls, because that would actually work. You need to stop running from her. You need to tell her who is in charge. Do you understand? Yes. I who's am in charge. charge? I am in charge. Who's in charge? I am in charge. Who's in charge? I am the supervisor. I can't hear you. I am the supervisor. What? Wait, are you the supervisor? Yes, I actually forgot to tell you that I got promoted at the store and I am the new manager. Oh my God, yeah. congratulations. Thank you, man. Mm. <laughs> Good evening, what can I do for you today, Miss Karen? How dare you? How do you know my name? Oh, I know everything about you. Excuse me? No, you excuse me. We are not your punching bag of trapped emotions and resentment. Yeah, what do you want me to do? I want you to be compassionate. Have empathy 
We are all human beings sharing this place called planet Earth, whether you like it or not. That's BS. Let me ask you a question, Miss Karen. If you could do anything for Lily, what would you do? What would be your passion? Well, no one ever asked me that before. I, I always, I always loved to dance. Then dance, go dance and be happy. First thing you see, just tell me. The bone. The bone. Listen, if you think that's a bone, then we're gonna have to pump up your session to five sessions a week now. This is not a good sign. <laughs> Thank you.